What's going on everybody? This is Brandon Hill and today I'm going to show you how I made this garage house song in machine and it's going to sound something like this. So let's get into it. Okay, I'm really excited to break down this song for you. It's one of the favorites that I've made. I really like the bass line and the vocal and the drums. So I'm excited to break this down. So let's start with all of the patterns that make up this song. We'll start with group one. So here I started with the bass line and this is what it sounds like in solo. For this, I used Serum and I downloaded a preset off of Splice. So if you didn't know, in addition to having samples on Splice, you could also find Serum presets. So if this is the homepage and you go to presets, you could find Serum here and go to bass. I think I searched garage house sounds and I found a preset and then I added it to my Serum user library in here. So that's what I used. And then in terms of playing the keyboard, Everything here is in D minor, and I think I did something like this. Oh, not in that tone. Okay, there. It was like. So that's how I got this here. And then also you'll see this kick here. I have this ghost kick. It's not really playing anything on my mixer. You'll see that the uh, level is all the way down, but I am side chaining this bass to this kick. So once I actually have my kick in this other group, it's already side chained to it. So I, I use this compressor here and I'm side chaining to this ghost kick. And then I have a limiter on this sound. And then with Ozone 10, back when I made this beat, I used Ozone 10, but now I typically use Neutron 4. I applied a low pass filter to this to take off some of these highs and to give it a deeper sound. So next we'll go to this group here, and these are the drums. For this, I use this kit here, Arise, and let me pull up the browser, pull up my groups. Okay, and for the drums here, I use this expansion pack that I like from Native Instruments called Higher Place, and it has all these kits that have these classic 90s house sounds, so we could listen through some of them here. I really love this kit and I highly recommend it. And the kit that I used here is this Arise kit. Okay, so let's break down. Start with the drums. I just have a basic four to the floor kick pattern here. You can hear this maximizer really well on this kick. Then I have this clap. I put a saturator on it. This is what it sounds like without the saturator. Makes it a little more present. We have this open hi-hat. And then these elements here on five, six, and seven, these are just small elements that help add to the groove and help add some variety. So this is what those three elements sound like. And then lastly, I have this crash right here and it goes again. So this is what it sounds like all together. And this is what it sounds like with the bass. Okay, on to this next group here. For this, all I have playing here is just the tension strings. And I found this in a play series instrument by Native Instruments, which complements this higher place expansion pack. And that is called feel it. So I highly recommend this as well. This goes really well with the Higher Place Expansion Pack. So the instruments, all these classic house sounds. And I found this in... I think I found it in the strings. So I found these tension strings right here. So that's what you hear here. And here's what it sounds like with the drums and the bass. And these strings help fill out that top end of the sound frequency. 
Next, we will go to this, and this is just a maracas loop that I found in my loop section under percussion, and then probably shaker. And I found maracas, maybe it's one of those. Yeah, it's this one here. So I have that going, and this is what it sounds like with the other elements. <laughs> Then we have this group here, which contains the vocal samples that I used. So this is the vocal sample that I worked with, and I just found it off of Splice, found something in the same key D minor that I'm using for this beat. Break down my walls, you know you got me standing so tall, with your love ain't gonna fall, because you see me right through it all, with your love. Okay, so that's the vocal sample that I worked with, and you'll hear it throughout the song, but one thing I did, I put this into the sampler and I sliced it all up, and the result of that, those slices come in this group here. So I'll play this, but you can see these are the 16 slices that resulted from that vocal sample that I just played you, and I created this MIDI pattern based off of those slices. So this is what that sounds like. This vocal chop style sounds like UK Garage actually, but I didn't make this a UK Garage beat. The drums are not the UK Garage style. These vocal chops sound well with this beat and that's what I did. And then I have an alternative pattern here, which sounds like this. So let's listen to that in context of the beat. Okay, now that I broke down all the patterns for you, all of this, just variations of the same pattern. These are the main patterns and the rest are just variations. Let's go into the scene. So we have scene one here, just the maracas and the bass. At this scene where I bring in the clap. And we have this. This is the drop. This is kind of a breakdown. Furthering the breakdown or the buildup. Okay, so we have that there. Now let's go to the arrangement. So before I break down the arrangement, I think I'll just play you the whole thing from start to finish so you can have a reference when we're walking through it. So let's listen to it. Thank you. 
Okay, here we are. We're back. I hope you like the song. Working with one vocal sample, things tend to get repetitive, but I tried to do the best I could with this by bringing this in with a filter and then adding the vocal chops during the drop and stuff like that. So let's go over this. We'll start with scene one. So scene one, we're going to have the bass and the maracas. And then right here, we have the vocal sample, but I have it mapped to a filter, which starts off closed and the filter opens up over time as it gets to this buildup, you'll hear. So basically the filter is, or the vocal is coming in over time. And we have the clap coming in right here. So right here, let's break down. I have this sweep sound. So this sweep sound here, and then right here, I have this down lifter playing. So if I solo these two, you can hear this will transition into this buildup. Okay, so let me take that off. And then also we have the vocal, which the filter is pretty much opened up all the way at this point. Right here, we're going to have the snare roll playing and I put automation with this with the cutoff filter. So the filter is starting off closed and it's opening up. So you'll hear that as well. So I have something there and right here I have this riser sound. You'll hear this riser here if I solo it. So let's listen to all that together and then we'll talk about this pre-drop area after. All with your love. Okay, so like I said, the filter is opening up on this snare roll, and then we have this riser, and it's creating all this tension and buildup as it goes to right here. Okay, and then here we have the pre-drop area where there's a space where the, everything is hanging in the air and it prepares for this drop here. So right here we have this little clip that I added, which has the clap, and then you have this open hi-hat playing for a little bit before this space. Right here, I have this clip added. It's just an empty clip just to take out all the bass. And then right here, I have a clip to take out the maracas. So when you put an empty clip on a pattern, it'll create space essentially. And then finally, we have the vocal pattern here that plays out and then goes into the drop. So during the drop, we have all the elements, the bass is playing, all the drum elements are playing. We have the tension strings here for the top end. We have the maracas and the vocals right here, according to that pattern that I told you about where I chopped up the sample. So that's what's playing here. Let's get into the second part of the drop, which is one of my favorite parts of this beat. So the second part of the drop, the second A bars, I have a different pattern playing with those vocal chops here for some variety. And then right here, I decided to cut out the clap and the kick to create this kind of tension as well. And then it resolves and goes back into the beat. And I took out the maracas here too. So with the maracas taken out and with the kick and the clap taken out, there's kind of this space right here and then it resolves back into the beat. So let's listen to that again. <laughs> And then that repeats. And then here for the outro, we just took out the vocals and we took out the maracas. And this is how the last eight bars sound. And that's how I made this garage house beat. I tried to use a bass sound that was garage house, a vocal that was really soulful, and then just kind of worked with a small eight bar vocal and did what I could with it. But this was a really fun beat to create. I just did one build up and drop. I didn't continue it after that, but I hope you enjoyed this beat and I hope you learned something with this tutorial. And if you did, let me know in the comments and I'll keep breaking down all these beats that I made. I could do this with so many tracks if it's helpful for you. With that, I'll get started on the next tutorial and I will see 
see you then. Thanks.